what's up guys and welcome to part 4 of tutorial series on comprehend custom entity recognition in the previous tutorial we have successfully prepared the input files or the training data to train the recognizer so that uh, we can successfully uh, identify or recognize the business entities within the document or corpus so in this tutorial we are going to actually train the recognizer right so we will get started uh, by navigating to amazon comprehend service right and within that uh, we will jump to custom entity recognition and we will say train recognizer now here uh, we need to fill out uh, some details right so we will get started with recognizer name so i will name it as business recognizer you can name it whatever you want right now within custom entity entity type so if you remember then uh, in the previous tutorial and maybe in, while preparing the entity.csv file uh, i have mentioned that we are going to train the recognizer to identify business entities right so in our case or in my case it's going to be business here right so and one more thing i had mentioned earlier i am uh, reiterating it now that we can only train single entity per recognizer for now right so yeah uh, that's it for the custom entity entity type also you can uh, encrypt the recognizer right if you want so i'm not going to uh, encrypt it now moving to the uh, training data pane uh, so within training type uh, it's going to be entity list and training docs right because uh, we have prepared entity.csv file in this format that is text and type right and not the uh, annotation format right so moving along uh, now entity list location on s3 so this is going to be the uri of the entity.csv file right so if you remember then in the previous tutorial uh, we have created the s3 bucket and also uploaded the training data corpus and the entity.csv file right so here it is that is comprehend custom entity right so here uh, in this entity list location on s3 we need to provide the uri of entity.csv file right so we will say search folder and we will select the bucket select followed by the file name that is entity.csv right now in the training documents location on s3 it's going to be our uh, corpus or the articles for example right so it's going to be the uri of this data set which contains uh, all the uh, text corpus or the articles right uh, so in our case it's uh, i think 510 right 510 files so we will say select folder and custom sorry comprehend custom entity select followed by the directory name that is data set here right so we are done with the uh, training data pane now coming to the iam role right so obviously uh, we are going to create a new iam role here so here you you will get two options in permission to access that is input and output if specified which is quoted s3 bucket and any s3 bucket right so we are going to select input and output s3 bucket right so it says if specified so uh, in that case it's going to be uh, this bucket right so we have specified that bucket here and we will uh, give some suffix to that row right so we'll say maybe not business so we'll say entity recognizer right so entity right recognizer and if you want you can uh, add some tags so i will say name as business recognizer right and i will say train the recognizer so now it will uh, propagate the im role so it's going to create an im role for us right and uh, of course it's going to uh, take some time to train the recognizer right so 
it may take uh, one hour or a couple of hours uh, or it it also takes from couple of hours to uh, one to two days depending on the uh, input files or the training data right so it says business recognizer was submitted successfully right so here you can see the status is submitted and slowly uh, it will change to training if, if there is no error right so let me uh, reload this so it, it is still submitted right so let me reload this if it is changed to training it's still the same so now it says the stati status as uh, training right so now it's it, it going to uh, take some time to train the recognizer right so now I will go ahead and pause the video here and I will resume once the uh, recognizer is trained as we can see that the recognizer has been trained successfully right so it has took me around uh, 1 hour 45 minutes to train the recognizer right so let's go ahead and click on the business recognizer right so let's see what it has so it says uh, number of trained document is 1830 and number of test document is as 486 right but i think uh, we have uh, only 510 documents to train right so i believe somewhere uh, that uh, in the back end it's doing some sort of data augmentation right so because to uh, train the recognizer accurately it requires minimum 1000 documents right so still uh, i'm not sure but i believe that uh, it's somewhere doing the data argumentation and that's the reason uh, we have uh, this number of trained documents and this number of test documents right so if you if you come across this and if you if you know uh, why this number has been increased then do let me know and others in comments right so moving along so looking at the recognizer performance it says precision is 100 recall 100 and f1 score is 100 right so the the score is uh, pretty impressive right but i doubt that it might have overfit the recognizer right but we will have a look uh, probably uh, in the next tutorial uh, in that we are going to test the document right so that's it for now and probably in the next tutorial as i said we are going to test this recognizer uh, on probably the unseen data right so as usual uh, if you want me to do any tutorial on any use case or you have any request then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time